Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever. And open the bonnet. Take off the plastic engine cover. To access your diesel filter, you must first remove certain parts. Remove the first part of the air inlet conduit by levering it off with a flathead screwdriver. Pivot it clockwise and pull it towards you to loosen the other end. You must then remove the battery covers. To do this, take the tap of the cover and pull it upwards. Do the same with the other side of the cover. To release the second part of the air inlet conduit, remove the plastic clamping clip which holds the diesel inlet conduit. Once removed, pull the air inlet conduit to the right and pull it towards you. You must now remove the turbo air inlet conduit. To do this, First, release the two clamping clips using a medium-sized flathead screwdriver. At the centre of this conduit, there's also a connection to the cylinder head cover that must be undone. To do this, pull the white plastic halting spur upwards and then disconnect the conduit on both sides in order to remove it. You can now see the diesel filter. You must now unclip the diesel filter hoses. Push down on the diesel supply tube using the green colour tabs, this should unclip it. Repeat the operation for the two tubes found on the filter. Make sure you push on the white coloured part of the tube. Remove the electric connectors by lifting the holding spur and simultaneously pulling the terminal upwards. Lift the air filter box a little in order to leave some space to work. To free the diesel filter, pull the small tap found on the top to the left. To fully remove the filter, you will have to lift the water pressure sensor connector. The connector is only accessible, however, once the filter has been partially removed. To do this, lift the holding spur and pull on the terminal. One part of the diesel filter does not get replaced. You must recuperate this from the old one. To do this, push on the holding spur and lift it up a few millimetres. Then, using a flathead screwdriver, leave the filter off, pushing on the casing to remove it. Immediately replace the two O-rings with those found in the new filter box. You can remove the old ones using a thin flathead screwdriver. Delicately put the new ones in place. A stopper is supplied with a new filter. Position it over the hole left open following the removal of the casing. Get your hands on the new filter and reinsert the casing into it. First, slip it laterally into its holding and push down firmly to fix it in place. The diesel filter casing is equipped with studs that slot into rails located on the cylinder head. You must ensure that everything fits and slides in correctly. Once the filter has been put back, reconnect the water pressure sensor located at the back of the terminal on the bottom. Finally, reconnect the electric connectors on top and put the tubes back in place. Push the air filter casing downwards so that it sits in its housing correctly. Put the turbo air supply conduit in place. 
reclip the part which goes into the cylinder head cover. And tighten both of the clamping clips with a flathead screwdriver. Reattach the second part of the air supply conduit. Before doing that, ensure that it goes completely into the plastic clamping clips. Put the first part of the air inlet conduit in place. Position the spurs in front of the specifically designed housing. Finally, reclip the other end into its compartment. Put the battery covers back on, sliding them into place. Before starting your car, it is very important to fill the new filter using a primer pump. Pump this for about a minute to fill the filter properly. Operation completed.